I'm Julie Bogart. I am the creator and founder of Brave Writer, which is an online writing and language arts program for homeschooling families. We've been in operation for 16 years and we've helped somewhere between 15 and 20,000 families in our homeschool online writing class program and then tens of thousands more with our curriculum and products and the varieties of things that we offer at Brave Writer. During all that time, I got to know homeschooling and the homeschooling world really well, and in part because I homeschooled my own five children. Today, those children range between the ages of 19 and 28, and the reason we are scoping early today is that my 19-year-old daughter, Katrin, invited me to come see her at University of Pittsburgh this weekend. She is on the rugby team. <laughs> So I get to go watch her play rugby, and I'm very excited about that. So we have to scoot out of here to drive to Pittsburgh this afternoon, and that means we're scoping at noon. The Homeschool Alliance is a coaching community that I started a year ago. We launched with 100 people on the first day. Literally, people were hungry for this idea that you could be in a community and get coaching, not just shop for curriculum, not just talk about sibling rivalry, although we do those things in the Alliance, but really help you dial in to how to be the most effective educator for your children. So many of us have come into this homeschooling project without having had any teacher training. And I'm here to tell you, you don't need teacher training, but what you do want and what I hope this community might provide you if you need it, is a course of study to help you understand the properties of learning, the unique dynamics of being at home with your children and having to work with them both as mother or father and as a home educator, and what are those dynamics that facilitate, you know, that enchanted education I talked about, you know, years ago, it feels like, <laughs> in Periscope land. In fact, what we're talking about is the context for natural learning to occur. And there are a lot of different curriculum models out there that can facilitate natural learning. There isn't just one. There's not the Julie method. I'm not peddling a method. What I do hope that I help you discover is the dynamism between you, your unique personality, your gifts, your talents, your passions, and then those of your children, and then how we can bring those together in a meaningful way for all of you so that everyone has a satisfying, rich experience. When I began the Alliance, it was my hope that I was providing almost like a little bit of a graduate course for parents who wanted to be effective home educators. And I figured if I laid out these certain categories of learning, and we're going to look at those on the computer, then you would have the opportunity to grow as an individual, not just as a homeschool curriculum shopper. Does that make sense? Or even a homeschool philosophy implementer. I want you to feel like the human being that you are is actually what makes your homeschool effective, not just that you're using the right program. I hope that's clear. It's been my passion. The other thing that makes the Homeschool Alliance a little bit different than other online homeschool boards that you've been a part of is that it's a safe space for taking risks. You won't be shamed, blamed, bashed, or critiqued. You will be helped in discovering your own homeschooling voice so that you know what makes your family tick because I trust you. A lot of programs either err on the side of one or two things. They'll either say, the parent's in charge, the children need to toe the line, obey, follow the program, do the schedule, turn in the work. And the parent is vested with all this authority to expect that to happen and to issue consequences if it doesn't. And then the other side is the side where we have the parent following the child's interests. We put a lot of stock and value into self-directed learning by kids or unschooling or child-led learning. And that only works with a really invested parent. 
Sometimes it looks like that style of learning is, quote, superior. But what happens then when a parent with some legitimate concerns is worried and doesn't know what to do, and they're watching their children flounder or flail? Well, what I think works even more than balance, although I know people love that word and there's nothing wrong with that word, but what I want us to do isn't to try and consider one style versus the other or doing one style one week or the other style another week. It's to actually drill down into the needs of both the parents and the children. You know, the requirements of the state versus the requirements of a happy, wholesome life. How do we bring these together for maximum satisfaction and success for everyone concerned? And it will look differently with each child and each family and each home educator. What I've discovered as we've worked now this whole year with all these different families is that people come into homeschooling with a bright, shiny vision, an ideal that they hope to attain. And then quickly, the contradictory needs of children and other homeschool experiences cloud that vision and leave the parent feeling a little at sea. And so we go from program to program trying to solve this conundrum when really the issue isn't about the program. It's about the individual who's doing the homeschooling. What creates a great family culture? What creates the foundation for beautiful memories? What leads to learning that isn't just about the degree, though the diploma, you know, the end of high school matters, but that is also about an enriched, curious life revealed through your kids. So this is what we're about in the Homeschool Alliance, and I want to show it to you. I know that people are jumping on at a time of day they're not used to seeing me. So out of respect for that, I want to tell you at the front end about the free product you can get today <laughs> by texting a number. And so we're going to do that first so that if you need to jump off, you can take advantage of this today. Um, and I will repeat it at the end for those of you who stick around. So I wrote a little product called, I'm going to pull it up on my screen. Pixie dust for your homeschool. Pixie dust for your homeschool. It is five tools that you can use to transform your homeschool today, like tomorrow. It's nothing fancy or shocking. It's all things I've already talked about in Periscope, but I'm gonna show you just what this product looks like. I'm switching my camera suddenly. Can you see it? Oops. And let's see if I can make it go to the second page. It's five tools, okay? Come back to me. So what this is, is it is just a two page PDF file with five tips to help you. So it's called Pixie Dust for Your Homeschool and I will share this with you again at the end of the scope. I feel like you've all invested so much time, you should have something you can use right away. All right, so before we look at the Homeschool Alliance, I wanna share with you a little testimonial. This comes from Karen, who is a member of the Alliance, and she wrote this to me recently, October 9th, and I asked her if I could read it on Periscope, and she gave me permission. And I just wanted you to know what she says about the experience of the Alliance for her. Julie, I just have to email you and tell you how incredible it has been since I joined the Alliance. I am making so many connections on so many levels. All these different pieces of ideas and philosophies I've been collecting over the months, years even, are coming together and lining up side by side. It's just been incredible. Truly amazing to see all these things light up in my head and connect. I have so appreciated the contentedness I'm experiencing. It's as if all these great ideas I've been inspired by are pooling together into a river, and now I can start to put things into practice. 
I can think of a good way to describe it. Perhaps it's my subconscious and conscious minds are simply better connected. To be sure, there are times when I get overwhelmed and question progress, but things are really aligning nicely and I wanted to let you know the impact the Alliance and the Periscopes are having in my little corner of the world. Thank you, Julie. I love your spirit, your intellect, and your encouragement to your followers. It's empowering. So I just wanted to start with that because Karen actually captured the heart of what I think the Alliance is about. It's about putting you in touch with your best intentions, the research you've already done, the thinking you want to trust but haven't taken the leap of faith to trust. That's what the Alliance is about. And I give you personal coaching. It's not just the members talking. I respond to a surprising number of posts and I'll give detailed feedback about your individual kids and your work and what's going on with you. It's a month to month program. You do not have to sign up for a whole year. You get a little bit of a price break if you do sign up for a year, but otherwise you can sign up for a month or two and then unsign up and go back to homeschooling. You can do one of those like, you know, super intensive deep dives and read and download everything on the site and then leave. And I won't say anything about that. You get to use the Alliance in the way that it benefits you. That's a big thing with me. And for those who find the monthly journey, the pacing of it supportive and the community is a place they want to share, then they don't want to leave after a month. They want to stay. So I want to share now with you how the Alliance works and I'm going to hold my phone and unfortunately the phone is a little bit, you know, wiggly. It won't be on a stand, but we'll do the best we can. Okay. So here we go. Going to the computer. Here we go. All right. So this is the homepage of the Homeschool Alliance and you can find it at coachjuliebogart.com. Take a little screenshot to remind yourself if you don't know where to find it. Okay, cool. And this is what it looks like. And I give you all the information that you need on this page. If you need to come back and read what the Homeschool Alliance is all about. Okay, so that's the homepage. So now when you click to sign in to your account, you're going to end up on a page that looks like this. This is our login page. The Homeschool Alliance has existed for one year, little over a year. And the design team and I, now that we understand better what the Alliance is after a year's worth of work, we are redesigning it. So for those of you who were members and have left, or those of you who are members and find it sometimes not as um, uh, conducive to use on a smartphone or an iPad, we're going to redesign it. But for now, this is how it looks. So this is the login, and each of these are folders that have unique content. So let's look first at the Chocolate Lounge. This is the homepage where everybody logs in to learn about the current month. So this month in October, we studied the brain and natural learning. And I explain all the details that you need to know. And then people can introduce themselves in this introductory space. I'm going to show you that really quick. Did it click? Oh yes, there we go. So we say introduce yourself here and we click, this is where you would post your own introduction and then click post reply. But if you want to read people's introductions, you click on everyone's posts. And we're going, you know, slow computer time. I'm going to pull back because I don't necessarily want to reveal what people have written. But here's an example of an introduction. And then I gave a response. And Stephanie, who is one of our staff coaches, also responded. Here's another introduction and another one. And that's how the Alliance on the inside looks. Another folder is called the Master Class in Learning. And this is where all the real work happens. 
The master class in learning has a different feature, different focus each month. So in October, our focus was natural learning and the brain. And what we do is this, and this we're at the end of the month. This is why I waited to share this with you. I give you, and you can see my little uh, finger here. I'll give reading. I will give an audio lecture. And these are like podcasts, just me talking, explaining the reading. Here's one in week two. Here's one in week three. Here's one. Here's more reading in week three and more reading in week four. And then here even is making meaning from the first lecture. So this is an example of how much material you will get when you do one of our month long sort of teachings in the Homeschool Alliance. And here is what it looks like on the inside. So there's all this writing from me and then you're able to download the, the material. Oh, someone says she loves the podcast. Yes, I treat it like I'm teaching a college class. Okay, so I am giving you a reading and then I'm giving you a lecture or two or three. And in fact, just to show you, we have archived all of what we've done in the Alliance. And so I'm gonna scroll real fast, but here we are, this is September from last year. And here's all the readings. Ah, come on, help me people. Oh, you can't go any lower, there we go. Here's the readings, the lectures, questions, thoughts about the adventure of living. We did the adventure of living in September last year. And then in October of last year, we did creative recreation. And you can, you can download and save all the readings and all of the podcasts. And people keep telling me that I'm improving their book lists. <laughs> um, here's November from last year. We did the re-enchantment of everyday life. Yeah, this is the archives from last year and it's all accessible to anyone who subscribes. Some people go on a binge of the Homeschool Alliance and they do all the readings and audio lectures sort of binge style. And you totally can do that. And we've left up all of the discussion as well so you can read what we talked about during those months, okay? So that's what the master class of learning looks like. I'll open this one up so we can see another, another inside. Um, this is from February last year. We did Making Thinking Visible. And um, I actually gave a whole bunch of practices to try with your kids to help you expand their cognitive development instead of it just being, well, what book should teach phonics? How about we grow the way their brains work, how they think, how they use their brains for that phonics work, okay? Another folder that we have is called the One Thing Principle. Now, I love doing the master class of learning because that's the academic you know, professor in me, but the one thing principle is what I'm the most proud of in the Homeschool Alliance. Every month, I pick a challenge. So in October of 2015, we did poetry and read alouds. And then I give you three ways to engage this challenge. I'm gonna bring this real close. The easy peasy challenge where kids were, parents were to read aloud to their kids every day. The moderate challenge, which was a poetry tea time, and then the advanced challenge, which was using nonfiction in our read aloud times. And when you complete a challenge, we give you a little member badge that tells you you completed the challenge. So here's one from September. We did exotic animals. The easy challenge was visiting a local zoo. The moderate challenge was handling exotic animals, which became quite hilarious in the Alliance because people were handling things like rodents that got into their house. <laughs> and then seeing an exotic animal in its native habitat. We had people traveling who saw buffalo, you know, other options than just, okay, let's study, you know, I don't know, math and science. In August, we did the night sky because of the Perseids meteor shower. So our challenges were watching the shower in your backyard. The moderate challenge was identifying uh, constellations. There's a typo there. And the advanced challenge using a telescope. Now here's what's really fun. I'm gonna just click one of these so you can see. 
Um, once you've completed the challenge, we ask you to share about it and post photographs if you have them. And then I want you to see this. Oops, is that clear? Every challenge gets an icon, a little badge. So the panda was from the exotic animals. The shooting star was from when we did the um, night sky. The guy on a surfboard is when we did water play. Um, the person on the bicycle, that was for exercise. I, I can't remember what this one was. It might have been journaling. But each month, I pick a one thing challenge. And if you complete it, you get a badge. So isn't that fun? Um, all right, so that's how the one thing works. And in a similar way, there is an archive. Yeah, and people love the badges, naturally. It's just that nice little gamification that makes it fun. We did water play in July, but you can go back. Oh yeah, it was journaling in June. You can go back to other months for inspiration. Like in April, we suggested you go see a play. In March, we did extensive art appreciation. Yeah, the badges are awesome. Uh, in February, we did watching movies, and I gave you some tools for expanding your experience of movie watching. We did board games in January. Uh, let's see what we do for December. We did live music performance. Yes, and you know what else? The rewards are motivating, but so are the opportunities to share with an interested audience. And isn't that what we all are on the Homeschool Alliance? You know everyone else in the Alliance is also doing hammers and nails this month. And here are all of the hammer and nail activities that I provide you to try with your kids. And then your kids get to share what they've done. And there will be people who will also look at their work and hear about it. You know, we've got pictures like this. This is what somebody's family did. See? It creates a community accountability, but it's so gentle because obviously it's me <laughs> and there's no harshness in this space. If you like a lot of conflict, you won't like the Homeschool Alliance because the Homeschool Alliance is excessively gentle. All right, so that's our one thing principle. So we have the master class of learning. You know, back here, I'm gonna show you. We have the master class of learning, which is each month's reading and audio lectures. We have the one thing principle where I give you a challenge to incorporate a non-traditionally academic subject into your homeschool, the stuff you wish you were doing and never make time for. And then the next folder we call practical parenting. So let's look at that one. Here's practical parenting. These are all children I'm related to. And you can see some of my kids are in there. Okay. In this one, each month, we just leave it open for you to post any questions you have about your children or your family or your homeschool experience, discouragement, and then inside the community responds. And I do give some responses as well, but this is the chance for the community to really support each other in parenting and homeschooling, and I am blown away by the level of wisdom in the practical parenting folder. And then my favorite little unique thing in the Alliance is what I call the self-care spa, okay? The self-care spa is designed to ensure that you are good to you in addition to homeschooling. So every month, I create a little thematic experience where week one, two, three, and four has something for you to do that's a treat. So like this one, week one was buy yourself a chocolate bar and eat a square every day and hide it from your children. Number Week two for this Be Good to You month was to move a painting or a photo in your house to a new location so you would actually see it every day and be pleased by it. Week three was a surprise of happy, finding something spontaneously that popped into your life and showed you that the world was a good place to live in. And some of you saw mine. This was my surprise of happy. I posted it on Instagram too, because I was making tea and looked up and this is what I saw. So this is what we do. We also had 
beauty everywhere. Beauty in the mess, beauty in attitude, beauty in you, beauty reflections. That was our focus in September. In August, we focused on reading for the parent. And because it was August, we just did two weeks. We read something soothing and something stimulating. So as you participate in the Alliance, oh, and we wish Christine a happy birthday. <laughs> and I sang to her on a podcast. Um, so as we talk about the Alliance then, the Alliance is this safe space for you to grow as a home educator, to be challenged, to take education risks, and to find the support for you as a human being. Um, you know, everybody, I'm going to flip this back and take questions. Um, everybody uses the Alliance differently. And so some people spend a ton of time there. They come every day. They love to process their thoughts. Like in July, we did a full on plan your school year month. And some people really love writing all that stuff out. And I have a process that's unlike any process you've been through for planning. We did that during that month. And so there was a lot of community interaction. But I'll tell you this, the vast majority of our members are lurkers. We've had over 600 people enroll in the Alliance over the last year. We currently have 200 active members, and I would say about 30 post regularly. Because the thing is, not everyone has time or interest in typing their thinking. They want to just take the resources and go and have some vision, some reading material already picked for them but they don't have to type anything in order to get benefit. And then there are other places. Yes, it's, is the Alliance a good place for hands-on homeschool health and advice? Yes, that's what it's all about. And we will give you feedback. Parents post their reviews even of curriculum they use, and there's space to do that. We do not use the space as a place to create a list of content that you should be purchasing, and we're not about recommending brands and all that kind of stuff. But if someone is dealing with an issue, let's say a kid is dyslexic and struggling with math, and there are members who've used resources that work for them, they post that kind of stuff. Here's the thing, I've been on a ton of homeschooling discussion boards over the course of my um, uh, years. Oh, hi, Alicia, glad you're here. And I actually know what those communities feel like, sound like, I've participated in them. And so when I had a chance to design one, I knew what I wanted it to be and I knew what I didn't want it to be. So here's what I wanted it, here's what I didn't want it to be. I didn't want it to be that you had to have a curriculum question to feel like you belong. In other words, there's nothing to post about except curriculum choices, so I've got to start um, you know, doubting something I'm using or asking for another tool just so I get to participate and have a conversation. I felt like we needed more than that. It would be nice to just talk about an idea or discuss an experience or look at the products of what I've done with my kids rather than always being in search and inquiry mode. Do you know what I'm saying? That's really common in homeschool discussion boards. I also didn't want it to be a place of ideological purity, where if you didn't agree with me exactly, I was going to sort of slowly manipulate you to my point of view, or shame you for not using my language, or blame you for not implementing it properly and that's why it's failing. I am not about that. I don't care at all about that. You can be a member and have kids in school. We have a couple. You can be a member and have kids in after school as an after school thing where your kids go to school in the morning or the whole day and then you do these enrichment properties for your time at home. There is no, um, uh, there's no standard of who can join. Let's see. Would it be suitable for new homeschooler whose child is only starting preschool? Sure, because here's the, the nice thing about that. You will be actually fueling your own imagination for where you're going. You will get to figure out what kind of foundation to lay now instead of making all the mistakes that we make <laughs> and then backtracking. So sure, join. And if it's not for you, you can quit. It's a month to month subscription. And I should tell you what that is right now. The month price is $24.95. And you know, I, I spent a lot of time thinking about pricing. 
I give a huge amount of energy to this. So I have to earn money. I can't do it cheap. It's not a $5 a month community. This is me actually giving you time, energy, vision. I'm on it every day. So, but I didn't want it to be as expensive as taking a Brave Writer writing class because Brave Writer writing classes are a whole other component of education. And I know parents never value their own education as much as their children's. So we've done it two ways. You can either pay $24.95 a month and stay as long or as little as you want, or you can spend $179 for an entire 12 month period. And that works out to $14.95 a month. $179 is less than a six week Brave Writer writing class. <laughs> I just wanna throw that out there. So that is an important thing to keep in mind. If you need some kind of support for you, don't you think it's worth investing in one class a year for you? And even if you're not there every month, isn't it nice to know that there's a space you can go to when the crisis hits or when you're struggling? So I do hope that you feel like that, that price point works for you. It works for me and I had to think about it that way. Yeah, it is a lot less expensive than therapy. Oh boy, that is for sure. And I'm hiring coaches. So I, Stephanie Elms is our first additional coach and she is exquisite, fabulous. So we will have more and more people to help support the growth over time. And um, you know, one of the things that you can consider is that perhaps if you join the Alliance and you feel more comfortable with the programs you're using and implementation, you won't have to keep switching from program to program to program for math or English or history. Maybe what's missing is implementation and not a new program. Maybe it's you having the wisdom and the inspiration to make your homeschool be what you want it to be and that that's the missing link. So I want to read a couple more testimonials from Homeschool Alliance members because we have some that have been there from the beginning. Rebecca Bison is one of our most prolific posters and is a fabulous resource all in herself. The Homeschool Alliance and Julie have been a great resource for fine tuning my philosophy of homeschooling and parenting. Often I've found myself lost in the logistics of schedules lesson planning and curricula purchases that I have almost lost the original intent. These past months, I've been able to really focus on the essentials of learning as a family and finding a more organic rhythm that has nothing to do with a curricula, a curricula publisher's arbitrary schedule. What Brave Writer and the Alliance, oh, excuse me, what Brave Writer has done to give freedom to language arts the Homeschool Alliance has done for all of family life. I love that it is not set up in a typical forum format. I can just read and reflect or interact with members as much as I like. After spending time on the site, I feel as though I've accomplished a task rather than simply lost track of time. So I thought that was pretty cool. Amy Collier, another very active member wrote this. The Homeschool Alliance has provided a wonderful safety net to this new to homeschooling family. Making the leap to homeschooling was nerve wracking for me, especially without a strong homeschool community in my area. This community has offered such a wealth of wisdom and experience for me, especially, um, oh, I'm sorry, that I've had the support to navigate some of the twists and bump of the first months of homeschool. Julie is an active presence within the Alliance, providing a constant stream of wisdom and perspective. I've copied bits and pieces of what's been shared in the Homeschool Alliance onto post-it notes that dot the insides of my kitchen cabinets, keeping me centered and goal-oriented. I've both expanded and refined my own home education philosophy and priorities through the master class in learning. The one thing thread provides me the accountability and inspiration to keep homeschooling interesting. I'd enthusiastically recommend the Homeschool Alliance to all new home educators and veterans too, because we have veterans who've also been a part of us. And we have a dad, a very active homeschool dad who contributes as well, his name's David. 
So we are not just limited to women. The only limit in the Homeschool Alliance is on blame, shame, and any kind of harsh critique. I don't permit that and we don't tolerate it. And you know what? I haven't had to moderate a single post in over a year. We started in September of 2014 and it is now October of 2015 and I've never once had to ask someone to take down a post. I haven't once had to discipline a comment because it's just not that kind of space. So if that's what you're looking for, I hope you'll sign up. Now, I just wanna make one more thing clear before we go. The discussion forum part of the Alliance is the same as what we use in Brave Rider. And it works great in Brave Rider. It's exactly what we want for Brave Rider. For the Homeschool Alliance, I have heard as feedback that it takes a little getting used to the style of conversation and how we use that platform. I am absolutely in the discussion process with my developer to enhance that space and make it easier and easier to navigate. So I just want you to know that if you've been a member and left, or if you're currently a member, or if you're considering joining, that's where we are today. We're constantly revising and improving, but there are no limits on your ability to access material or download it to your computer or read existing discussions. And you do not have to participate by posting if that's not your style. So any other questions before we go? If you are, you know, outside of the country, just email me and put pixie dust in the title and I'll make sure you get added to the email list and get our free giveaway. Okay. Yeah, I, I mentioned that because maybe you don't know this uh, if you don't run a business, but when you start a new project, one of the ways that you build it is with what we call the minimum viable product. And that's what the Homeschool Alliance was last year. I took existing, you know, I spent a lot of money to build the classroom. So I took the existing software I've already paid for and we tweaked it to support this idea. I wanted to find out, well, what is it? Is it gonna work? Does the structure that I have in my head match the reality of the needs of homeschoolers today? Well, I can say confidently after a year that yes, absolutely it does match what I imagine. Oh, thanks for the compliment on my nails. <laughs> um, yeah, so Alicia, we went over that, but I, am, I can do a recap. Let's do the recap right now. It's a great idea. So here's what the Alliance is. This is the home page. When you sign in, you will be taken to the selection of folders that give you access to all of our material. The chocolate lounge is where we announce new information and you introduce yourself. Every month we have a new um, selected reading and audio lectures by theme in the master class of learning. Each month we add a new one thing challenge and it's things like the night sky, swimming, uh, hand crafts, board games, and there are challenges then that go with that. Um, and then we have a practical parenting folder for discussion about parenting and homeschooling, and then the self-care spot. And this is what they look like. So let's see, where are we? Here's the um, chocolate lounge. Oops, sorry. Here's the chocolate lounge. That's the welcome folder. Then this is our master class in learning folder. We can go back to this month. And this is October's focus was natural learning in the brain. And there is a folder like a, a space like this for every month where you can get the reading and listen to audio lectures and then report back on how you're applying the ideas in your homeschool. And then we have the one thing folder, one thing principle, where each month I suggest a topic and then I give you challenges, the easy peasy challenge, the moderate challenge, and the advanced challenge. And when you click on these, there's all kinds of information inside, and you get to use that information to help you pull it off. It is similar to Blackboard, if exactly, but it's custom designed. But yes, Blackboard was our one of our models that we used when we were developing this software. And then this is the practical parenting folder. 
where parents have conversations about all the things they want to ask each other. So about teen, public school friends, math suggestions, what to do with the night owl, how about kinesthetic learners, and the community comments and discusses in these folders. And then the last one, which I think is unique out there in the homeschool world, is what I call the self-care spa. And each month, and as you're noticing, I do things by month. So each month I pick a theme. This month was be good to you. And each week I give you something to do that is nice. So this week was like buy yourself chocolate, moving a painting or photo into a new space, being open to a surprise of happy, trick or treat, give yourself a treat. We did um, Beauty is Everywhere last month, Beauty in the Mess, Beauty in Attitude, Beauty in You, Beauty Reflections, and all of these have content inside. So if you click on this, yes, the Homeschool Alliance helps you access your inner brave. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. So that's it. That's what it looks like. For $24.95 a month or $179 for the year. Okay. And uh, to sign up, you just go to coachjuliebogart.com. I think I've got that here. So you can take a screenshot. Okay. You got it? Coachjuliebogart.com. And you know, it's really nice to do this at the end of October. I told you at the beginning of Periscoping in the middle of September that I was going to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until the end of October. And I've done it. I've successfully made it to the end. <laughs> and so what are we doing next? You might want to know. Well, let's see. Do I have the book handy? Oh, I do. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to walk over to my book. Um, let's see here. Let me do this. Turns out I for keep forgetting to turn on my microphone, which is ridiculous. Okay. Here's what we're doing starting in November on Periscope. We're going to read this book, A Gracious Face for Fall, by me. You can buy it on Amazon, you can buy it on our website, go to the store and Brave Writer Lifestyle Tools if you wanna to buy the digital. If you wanna buy it in hard copy, go to Amazon. Um, we're gonna read an essay a day and I will announce by email Let's see, is it possible to try for one month and pay a year subscription? Great question. Yes, actually we do that. So if you sign up for a month and then you decide you want the year, you write us an email and Cindy prorates it based on the year long subscription. Okay, so yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna read an essay and then I'm gonna discuss it. Uh, you know, we'll just have some discussion about what I read. So if you have this book, I hope you'll join me. I'm still deciding what time of day Oh yeah, I forgot to say that, Karen. <laughs> Homeschool Alliance members get discounts on all products from Brave Rider. That's right, they do. There's a code. And I think it's, is it 10, is it 10 or 15? I can't remember even what the percentage is. Yep, 15%. Um, there you go. So that is a helpful little benefit. If you are a part of the Alliance, you can buy Brave Rider stuff for cheaper. Um, so that's all I got. Thank you for today. I personally love the Alliance. It's my favorite place to play. I love the women and men who are a part of it. And I think it is a game changer. So I hope you join us, give us a whirl, you know, see if it works for you. And then, you know, if it doesn't, no hard feelings. You can't hurt my feelings. You just send us a message. We canceled the Alliance and I wish you well on your journey. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to have a fun weekend. In fact, I'm going to whip out my little phone and do a periscope of the, um, <laughs> the rugby game that my daughter's in. So if you happen to be on, you'll get a chance to see muddy girls running around. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Go University of Pittsburgh. Hail to Pitt. That's what we're rooting for. And then I get to see the musical um, Beautiful, the Carol King musical on Sunday with Katrin and my boyfriend. And that's going to be fun too. So, all right. Otherwise, I will see you all Monday. Thank you so much. Live honestly. Write bravely. I'm Julie Bogart from Brave Writer and the Homeschool Alliance. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great weekend. Happy Halloween.